so this is a topic that I haven't done yet. Um, I wanted to address it. I think that it's something that everyone we needs to talk about. <laughs> Hi guys. So if you're a guy and you're joining, I warned you. <laughs> and uh, if you're a female and you're joining, welcome. This is one of the very first times that I have ever asked for an all-female audience. Um, hi from Seattle. Hi, what's going on, Crafty Degrassi? Um, just curious. Oh man, we might have a guy in here then. But I do want everyone... Hey, Pammy! I do want everyone to feel comfortable in here. So if anybody is uncomfortable... Tammy and Pammy! Yay! Freddie G. Bass. Freddie G. Bass must just be curious. Uh, Cinderella, awesome. <laughs> Ugh, I told you, Freddie. Um, but I knew saying that like girls only would probably get some guys in here. No, if you have type 2 bipolar, stay on in. Stay on in. There's Cookie. Cookie understands. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys. I'm so glad you're doing this. Good. I wanted to talk to you guys. So as of 11 a.m. this morning... I had already broken a door in my apartment and completely destroyed our music studio and all of our all of our electronical equipment that has to do with recording and amplifying and everything. And that is because I woke up this morning like a raging monster. Because that's okay, I gotta get back to work. Wanted to say hi. Hey, Freddie. Um, because I didn't know this for the longest time, but PMS definitely gets so much worse when um, when you when you have bipolar disorder, and your bipolar disorder gets so much worse when you're PMSing, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful cycle. So. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like some fight or flight in my body, if it's like some mama bear thinking she's coming out to take care of her pregnant children, pregnant children? I hope I don't have any pregnant children coming out to take care of like all those babies I'm, my body's expecting me to pop out right now. But whatever it is, like I can, I can kind of keep my cool for like three weeks out of the year, Th the year, three weeks out of the month. And I'm not saying it's like totally keeping my cool. But I can usually handle myself. And then there's these couple days. I'm sitting out of Bob's uh, house right now, so I'll be doing the yin 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 soon. Um, if you're a girl, just let me know that you're here and that you're listening and that this is uh, helpful to you. Um, but yeah, so there's a couple days every single month. Maintain yourself. Ugh. Ugh, I try. Um, there's a couple days a month that I, and I talked to like my therapist about this and they said, yes, you know, when you do have a bipolar disorder and I also suffer from depression and anxiety and borderline personality disorder and OCD and all sorts of stuff. And he, you know, my therapist was trying to make me understand that it's going to get a lot worse when you have, when, when you're, when you're PMSing. Bob mob may happen tonight. Yay. I love Bob mobbing. Um, so I just wanted to kind of put that out there that it makes me feel like a monster. I understand none of this, but I'm listening. <laughs> Close Bob's. I like that. It's basically like to imagine as a guy when something happens that makes your testosterone just go crazy. It's hard to maintain yourself is what I meant. Yeah, completely. Yeah, 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 completely. So like, I don't know what it is for you guys. For guys, it could be somebody looks at your girl wrong. Somebody says the wrong thing to her. Somebody puts their hands on her. Somebody says something about your mom, your family, whatever it is that makes that testosterone go crazy. And it makes you just literally lose your mind. And all you can do is like fight it's not even fight or flight to me anymore. It's just fight. Like for some reason I get so angry and I get so frustrated and I get like, I don't know what it is, but I just have like this rage inside of me when, when the PMSing comes around. And before I was diagnosed, Olga makes my testosterone go crazy. I figured that much. Um, before I was aware that I had bipolar disorder and linked it with the cycles of um, menstruation, I told you guys it's going to get icky. Um, I I didn't know. I didn't know that that's why I would go so crazy. I would just say like, okay, like I went nuts that month. Why? I read that guy's PMS. There is a cycle with guys too. Not kidding. Oh, okay. All right. That's, I know this feeling you speak of. Yes. Yes. It does happen with guys too. 
um, I've heard, but I, that's, so yeah, so, so guys can be in here as well. Um, but yeah, so it's just, I don't know, it's the craziest thing because for so long I didn't realize it and I just thought it was completely random. Like, oh, okay, I'm just having my crazy moments right now and I'm just punching down doors and breaking stuff and I literally had no idea why. Hi from Manchester, UK, hi. And uh, to realize that it's linked to that and that like, a, it's not like a week of it or anything. Like PMS can last sometimes for a really long time. It's usually like three or four days that, yeah, you really do feel like you're losing your mind. And I never had dealt with that before, but I mean, honestly, like everything makes me feel like I need to punch the shit out of it or I'm not going to be happy. Like there's just this rage that gets built up. We have a daughter with this. Okay. That's interesting because I went through a lot of this, like when I was like 16, realizing that something was wrong and not really knowing what. And, uh, yeah, so just kind of wanted to talk about that for a minute because it was pretty crazy. Like I woke up this morning and like literally my door is broken. Like I beat the shit out of it. I just started kicking it and hitting it. And yes, that's great. It's not a person, but sh she was in the hospital for six months. Wow. That does seem really serious. I totally feel what you're saying. I can't control it. So true. Same issues here, girl. Yes. Yes. Huh. Not that I want you guys to be suffering these issues, but it's just like, it's, it's crazy because I feel crazy. I never got my period trolley. Have you not gone through puberty yet? That's okay. Um, but yeah, it's like three or four days of me just feeling madness, just sheer madness. No, I recommend you do not buy a fire. <laughs> Thank you, Trolley. Um, yeah, like, I mean, at least I'm beating up doors instead of beating up people, but at the same time, it's an aggression that I don't wish I had, and it comes out, like, you know, for the rest of the month, I can feel it. Are you okay? You beat your door up. Are your hands okay, etc.? I mean, my hands kind of hurt a little bit. I go from very happy to, to angry to bawling my eyes out. Yelp, that's me. That wasn't me. <laughs> what wasn't you? Um... And it's just the weirdest thing because like I said, it's like, I don't have, I don't feel like I have that rage in me most of the time. I don't think anyone can understand it unless they're going through this. I agree. Did your therapist, uh, discuss triggers with you? Yeah. I mean, we've been working a lot on things and this, I mean, this is going to be really ridiculous. I'm going to open up to you guys about what it was that made me so angry. The firearm guy wasn't me. Okay. Um, but I, what made me so angry. Okay. You guys ready? Hearts. If you guys are ready. My fiance hid my makeup. <laughs> my, oh, okay. I'm sorry. You guys do have a similar pick. My bad. Yeah. Literally I bought new makeup yesterday and I was so excited to put it on. Hmm? Check it out. Check it out. I was so excited to put it on. Oh no. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Okay he did it. And I was so excited. I bought it yesterday. No more PMS. But when younger, I used to punch things all the time. Okay. That, that actually helps me know that I'm not alone. Does it affect your relationship with your parents? Yes, but I'm 28. So I don't live with my mom. Wow. So not a big deal, but I feel what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Like I was so excited. I bought my makeup yesterday. He did your makeup. What a freaking monster. He hid my makeup. Yes. He didn't do my makeup. So that's it. I know I'm the divorce. Is he an ex-boyfriend now? Yes. No. Um, I'm still, still got the ring on, but no. So like I bought this makeup yesterday. I had been running out of makeup for a while. I was really pumped about it. Monday mornings are really tough for me because I have to get up, get ready, prepare everything for my choir, for my acapella group, for my lessons, and then get in the car and drive to LA, go to my voice lesson, and then go right to school and then teach until about seven, which doesn't seem like it's that bad. That's all you got mad at that. Yep. So, um, and that's, that's what I'm trying to say is how ridiculous it is. It's a trigger. You know what I mean? It's a trigger. My parents thought I just wanted attention, self-destructive. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so it's usually something very small. And so I was just so excited. I bought myself my new makeup and I'm getting ready on Monday. And I'm like, you know, I kind of hate Mondays anyways. And by kind of hate, I mean, like I detest them with every 
ounce of my being and so I have to do so much on Monday mornings anyways and I'm always rushing around that when I went to get my makeup and then he was like oh I hit it I'm like okay that's funny huh where is it and he's like oh it's down in the car but I can't get it right now and I'm like Ugh! note to Carrie don't <laughs> yeah don't do it do you have bipolar because I called it out a long time ago and you said no um, that's not true I've been very very open about the fact that I have bipolar disorder since day one um, so I would not have said no. I may have said no in regards to something else. I might have said it in regards to a student, but no, I, did he actually hide it or just move it? No, he actually hid it because he thought it would be funny, but he didn't realize that I was going to go to find it like when I'm rushing around on a Monday morning and that's all it took. Am I saying that I'm right to get angry by that? No. Am I saying that he was right to move it or wrong to move it? No. Speaking as a parent, you think it's rebellion and anything. Yeah, totally. Still engaged. We are still engaged. So that's what I'm saying. It's something that small and it literally drove me so crazy that I started punching down a door. Now, people who don't understand this can be like, okay, she's batshit psycho. And you might say, you know, okay, so I don't want to talk to this person anymore. And if so, that's okay. But if you get what I'm saying, trust me, I get you. So maybe when things don't go the way you want or expect, no, it's triggers that like I needed to get out the door on time today. And I was, you, you might've said, nye, 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 nye. that's true. Um, but yeah, anybody who calls me out on saying that I, I am bipolar, I'll definitely say, would you respond the same when taking your meds? Um, I am taking my meds. I take my meds all the time. I take my meds every single day. So yes, I do respond the same way. Does Olga ever come out when you're mad? Um, I've always wondered how being on meds fixes it. Being on meds doesn't fix sh shit when you have PMS. Yeah, I'm considered the crazy woman, exactly. And that's okay, if people on scope, there's gonna be a couple people that just don't get it. And I have had people say like, did you take your meds today? Meh, meh, meh. And I'm like, oh, uh, do you watch the show Homeland Carry On, the show has bipolar and does an excellent job? Yeah, I mean, I'm a very functioning, what do you take for bipolar? I take Seroquel and Paxil and Klonopin. Um, How does your man feel about it? Does he just back off? Oh, he actually is really supportive about it. So like he, does he know you're bipolar? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's very, very like a part of everything. Um, with me, like, you know, he goes to, he knows that I go to therapy. He's even started going just so, um, have you been on Al Alpine? Yes, I have been on that. I tried like everything. I was like a guinea pig for a while, but my boyfriend or my fiance actually, you know, like really, really helps and he gets the situation and he tries to de-escalate it in any way he can so he doesn't it's not like he feeds on it or anything like that but um but yeah so i'm gonna go in and start my lesson don't you just want to slap people when they ask you did you take your meds yeah like you have no idea and that might have been why i said no i don't i didn't or something my question was genuine i really wanted to know if meds actually oh got you to have bipolar man depression <laughs> Yeah, no, he's amazing, but I'm about to start my lesson, so I'll restart the scope and you guys can watch. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. Good, thank you. Good, good, good. And you're pretty and pink. Thank you so much. All right, I'm still on. Okay, guys, I gotta go. I'm here. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Thanks for listening. <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you, guys.